What is up people, this is the Oracle and we are back on MTGO for a new Eldritch Moon Draft. This pack is, I would say, medium. Nothing is great, nothing is really bad. Uh, the best card I think is pretty clearly Boon of Emrakul. Uh, it's just a very solid black ring vault. Black is fairly weak color in general in this set, but that card is just much better than anything else. Uh, Quite a decent amount of people really like uh, Vildin Pack Outcast, and I think this is good, but I don't think this is better than Boon. Hunter is decent, but suffers from having one toughness, which make it ma makes it quite weak against uh, some deck, especially red decks. Scarecrow and Fortune's Favor, Favor are fine for drop. Shred is good in the right deck, but... And Oz is just not very good, uh, and certainly worse than Boon. So it's gonna be Boon. Uh, it's a you know it's a decent decently costed dream vault so it's something I don't mind first picking, uh, but it's not like super exciting either. Here we have more uh, options. Eldritch Evolution is kind of funny. I mean you want to play that. Uh, I've been playing that card with a fair amount of success. You want to play that basically in the blue green uh, emerge deck or you know, a green deck that has a lot of nice sack outlet. If you have enough things like uh, Exultant Cultist, uh, Foul Emissary, uh, Enlightened Maniac, the card becomes actually quite nice and, and, and funny. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's like having another emerge creature, basically. Um, but it doesn't go super well, super well with a, a, a first big boon. Uh, Citwing and Scab are the two best blue cards here. I think I like them more than Angler. Especially since blue black doesn't tend to have a lot of colorless creature in general, but I think my pick is going to be restraints, and maybe I'll try to build the white black aura deck with a bunch of ironclad slayer. Uh, I think restraints is just the best card, and again potentially goes well with boon because of the iron uh, ironclad slayer. So feels like a fine uh, move to make. Moon rider is. I thought that card was really difficult to trigger and thus not so good. The thing is, the 1-1 one, one first, first Strike Lifeling Body is decent. It does block some creatures. It's not amazing, but it's fine. And especially if you first pick that uh, early in the draft, uh, er, early in the draft, having some ways to flip it is, is, is not that hard. And if, we, if you flip it, you just pretty much win, unless you have a removal. Uh, I think it's just better than Geist or the Mental. And uh, I guess the blue cards are fine, but I think it's it's a it's a fairly easy pick. Like even if you don't like that card a whole lot, like I do, it's not like there's much else that's better in that pack. Okay, ruthless disposal is fine. It's not amazing. It's fine. Uh, there's another choking restraint though, which I think is just better, especially if I can get some slayers. That's just pretty solid. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, it's pro probably not a lupine prototype deck. When I have removal, when you have removal, you don't really want to toss them as fast as possible. You kind of want to keep them for the creature you need to get rid of, which doesn't synergize well with prototype. Um, it's probably just steadfast Qatar for me. Not a an amazing card, but it's a fine two drop that attacks fairly well. Uh, it also suffers from having only one toughness, but it, it, you know it's a it's a it's a decent card. Okay, whoa, that bag is quite interesting. Fairly fairly lit spreading flames. Wretched Griff is, I think, the best card though. Uh, I I don't have to be black. I mean, black did not seem very open this pack, and uh, yeah, black just did not seem very open, and um. And black is not a very good color in general, so I think I'll just pick the Wretched Grief and see if I can go blue. There's still a Scoured Laboratory and a Cultist left. We've seen a few packs with quite a bunch of good blue cards. I, I will probably not get a bunch of blue pack too, because uh, I've put some people into blue, I would presume. But black just doesn't seem open, and Wretched Grief is just the best card, so... I think it's time to maybe move in some other direction. Not a huge fan of mental, even if you have a bunch of slayer and slayers, and I don't have any slayer yet. Uh, fragment is fine. Not a huge fan, but it's probably the better option for me. I guess mental is pretty good at uh, flipping lone rider, and I have two restraints, 
So I will want to play Slayers. I just don't like that card a whole lot. And I, it feels like I can get one later on. But maybe I should still pick that. I just hate being 2 for 1 and I don't like auras in general, but maybe in that specific spot it's decent. I think I'll go with Fragment though. Especially since there is a slight chance I end up white with a little bit of black and a little bit of blue, in which case fixing is gonna be good. Here I'm... Eh, I guess I have the cleansing. Cleansing for the side or an allowed, which is a fine 4 drop. Uh, I'll go with that. Uh, I don't... Oh, Fortune's Favor is actually not that bad. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, when the first the, the card was first uh, released or, you know, in, in the spoiler, I thought it was just garbage. And the more I've played with it, the, the better it, it has been. Like, worst case scenario, it's going to be a 4 mana instant speed divination. I don't think... You can, un unless the opponent just mind streaks you uh, a lot, you cannot really make that worse than a divination. And it's a funny card to play too. Uh, I'm pretty happy to play one or two of them in any of my blue deck, especially if, if it's the blue-red uh, instant and sorcery deck. Uh, another unallowed is fine. Weirded vampire is just gonna be worse than unallowed in this in, 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 in a, in a white-black shell. I don't think I will ever play that. I guess whispers? Probably not, but who knows. I got a mental anyway, so might put it in the deck if I really have no other ways to flip the rider and if I get some slayer. So I'm white. Uh, I like my blue more than my black currently. Uh, it's, it's close, it's close. I like Boon quite a lot, I like Wretched Griff quite a lot. I think I like Fortune's Favor more than an Allowed and I have a Fragment that can, you know, do stuff maybe, who knows. And I have two Rim Vols, which is nice, which is nice. So we could try to build some sort of white uh, blue control deck with a bit of card draw, some removal and stuff. We'll see. Alright, Savage Alliance is a very good card as you should know. But Collective Effort is pretty much the same card in white. Uh, if this was pick one, pack one, it would be a tough call. I think I like Savage Alliance more, especially since this is double white, slightly harder to play. But that thing gets gives you a 2 for 1 very easily. And p I mean, the put a plus one, plus one counter counter on each creature you control is amazing. Like if you can kill a, a four power creature and put a counter on each of your creature, it's just amazing. And them having an enchantment is not that uh, hard. I can also kill my own choking restraints. Uh, no, that no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, that 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 will not be a good play. That will never be a good play. Who knows? Maybe it can come come out, but probably not. But if I kill the restraints, the, the thing is not restrained anymore. I was thinking that it would be an easy way to put it in the graveyard, but you kind of have to use the 5 mana ability, otherwise it's, it's not good. Uh, yeah, Savage Island is very good, but yeah, I'm white and Collective Effort is... I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I really don't know which card is better, but uh, it, it's certainly close. Best cards here are clearly green, you have a Constrictor, a Prowler, an Emissary. I don't think I want to play green with what I have though. Uh, I think sentry and reserves are fine but not looking great. I think I'll pick Guest of the Archive, which I like a fair amount uh, in some sort of blue-white control shell, which I, I think I will try to build here. I have a few removal, a few card advantage uh, engine, and even though I haven't played a, a successful control deck yet in the set, uh, I think I'll try it now. Whoa, that bag is insane. Collective Defiance is very good. Uh, is it better than the Collective Effort? In Constructed it is, but in Limited I'm not sure. This might just be better. I don't know, it's close. Both cards are great. Clear Shot is amazing. Might just be better than both uh, Collective cards. Uh, I think it's... it's not... I mean... It's it's not I'm not I'm not in a point where I'm not in a point where I, I want to jump into uh, another color though. And Outrider is a very solid uh, four drop. Like the body is good enough that even if you don't hit a human, it's fine. And I'm I'm likely to get some other human, so I'll just go with that. I'm never happy to pass a bunch of good cards, but you know, it's not like I have a better option here. Ooh, best card here I feel like for me is certain death. So maybe I'm back into Blackland. It's really annoying that I first pick uh, 
Boone into two choking restraints and then I saw absolutely no Ironclad Slayer. That's that's a shame. <laughs> that's really a shame. Especially since since I picked all those enchantments, it's it's I don't know, someone also got other enchantments, I guess. I don't know. I guess Sentry is a nice one to play with Wretched Grief. It's it's also a human for Outrider. And I'm sure that I'm white, I'm not so sure so sure about any other color. I think it's a fine and safe pick. Uh, it's not great, but it's fine. Best card here is Captive. Unsubstantiated is not great, but I don't mind having one of these into my deck. Um, it can be decent at... at not match, actually. I guess I can bounce back my Outrider to try to draw some more human. Probably will never do that, but who knows. But if you have a few enters the enters the battlefield trigger, it can be useful. Okay, well there is a white mythic, but uh, <laughs> it's not really gonna work. I guess I'll pl I'll pick cleansing for my side. It's it's fine. Jesus, holy! Oh, that I mean, passing those third or four pick already hurts me. But seeing that going like what? It's gonna be past seventh peak. It's it's really, it's really, <laughs> really saddens me. Um, but green was really cut quite hard back one, and now the the guy who cut green is getting rewarded, which is not really a surprise. I think I'll pick spectral reserve. I don't have a lot of four drop. It's a fine card, but someone is getting a sick green deck. All right, board grace is a card I never mind playing. Face bearer paladin. Is also a card I don't mind playing, especially when I have a, an Outrider. It's really a nice uh, synergy, nice curve. So, it's fine. I think, unless I end up black, white, which is less and less likely, Fragment is not going to be good. So, I'll probably leave that in the side. And oh, do I want another sentry? It's kind of nice for Outrider, decent with Wretched Grief, good for Collective Fort. Yeah, I think I'm not a huge fan, but it's fine. It's fine. It's also decent with Board Grace, which I do have. Oh, did I pick? I, I picked something else actually. Oh no, it's there. Okay, for for a few seconds, I thought I went mad here. Okay, Sourcing Axe is actually kind of good with uh, those Sentry. I mean, any equipment is good with creatures like Sentry. Not sure that I want that though. It's kind of good with Paladin though. It's gonna get blocked instantly. Oh, it's actually it's pretty nice also at help me helping me flip the Lone Rider. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I, I yeah I should not have cut that. I should have cut the uh, the destroy enchantment thing when I have. Potentially an axe and two uh, uh, two restraints. That's just that's just uh, that's just not the right thing to pick. That pack is not great for me. This is not a deck that wants to play a scarecrow. I don't think I really get the delirium for topple guys. Nibilith of dusk is fine, but I don't really need that super badly. I mean, it's fine, but it's not very exciting. Chaplain's Blessing is a way to flip Lone, Lone Rider, but probably not the, the right way, if there is a right way to flip it. Currently my deck is pretty bad at flipping that thing, which is annoying, but I, you know, I, it's not like I picked that over anything good anyway, so... So some blue cards... I think I need a 2-drop more than a 4-drop though. Scab is better than Drifter. Forgotten Creation is fine in some decks, it's not looking great in this deck. I don't really need just the Wind, I have Unsubstantiate, which I think is just an upgrade in this deck. Press for answer is fine, but not necessarily. Drifter is not amazing. I think I could use a 2 drop though, more than a 4 drop. Maybe it's just Forgotten Creation though, that card is, that card is, is quite good. Oh, another very weak pack for me. That pack, that the draft is really not going well. But I guess that's interesting to some extent. It's not even. Li I don't feel like I was in the r wrong colors, and 
Green was only up in pack 2 because uh, someone cut it super hard, but here I'm not getting any green anyway. Uh, I'm, uh, emissary of the Sleepless or Gun Missing. I like Gun Missing a fair amount. Grief Poon, okay, Grief Poon is a good card. Uh, and if I could wheel the Geist or the Inquisitor, that'd be good. Or the Spirit, I guess. Alright. Ooh, three Raven Inspector. Uh, I think this is just a better card than the Fox. I need two drop. This will, this is not a two drop, but this kind of does the same job. Uh, works well with Outrider. Decent to emerge. Uh, kind of good with equipment too. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, probably a guy here, which is fine. Yeah, I have a few. I have a few spirits. It's not great, but fine. I think I need a. A creature more than Exposivo, even though I'm not a huge fan of the the fox, but I'm lacking to drop fairly badly. I guess I might play the mantle. Broad Grace is also another way to flip the Lone Rider. Actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, I like I like having two Broad Grace more than a Broad Grace and a mantle. And I uh, if if I had a few Slayer in my deck or even one, I would play mantle, but. Uh, board Gray seems better at that job. So I have three ways to flip it, I guess. Uh, four with the Faith Bearer Paladin. I guess Geist is another way to flip it, too. Uh, Spectral Reserve plus an attack. Yeah, actually, in the end, my deck is not so bad at flipping the thing. It's not good at... I mean, it's 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 medium at, at flipping uh, a Lone Rider. Nibilis of Dusk or Confirm Suspicion. I, the sentries are not looking great. Nibilis is just better. Um, I don't m mind playing Confirm Suspicion. I think Nibilis is just better though. Probably cutting a, a sentry currently, especially since I only have one Emerge card and I don't really need Delirium. And I have some. I got a, a fair amount of. F f I mean, two other two drop in the meantime, but one is fine, I think. Might cut this one too, but we'll see. Uh, Ghoulsteed is not really a card I mind seeing. I have a collective effort. I have a few bounce spells. It's not, I mean, Accomplice is probably going to be more annoying for my deck. I think I like Press for Answer more than some other cards in my deck. Ooh, Emissary Wield. That's kind of good. Alright. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, ooh, Strength of Arm. I think this will replace one of the Broad Grace. So I have a bit more of diversity. The Axe, I don't know. That card is, I, I think, underrated. I think it's quite good. It's pretty solid with Flyers and Flying Tokens, too. It's risky though, you, depending on the amount of removal and Bounce Spell your, your opponent has, you can get tempoed out. If you play that, I think I can cut a sentry. That card is not great. This is a five drop. F the fox is not good, but I need some two drop. Uh, I guess you can always cut press for answer, but it's looking fine in my deck. I kind of want to try out the axe, honestly. Hmm. So I want to cut. I don't want to cut any of my seven. Or five drop or four drops, I think. They are all fine. Let's see how many humans I do have for the Outrider. One, two, yeah, I think four or five. That's not great, but again, the body is decent and it's not like I have a bunch of four drops anyway. Guys is I'm mean, I'm aggressive enough that guys is not looking amazing, but that card is just very solid in general. You don't have to be super defensive to make it good. <sighs> Sentry is decent with the axe and decent with the wretched grief. It's pretty bad as well. I think I'll cut that and the axe probably. Still, I would I I still kind of need to cut something here. And I almost want to play both Broad Grace. Like currently, how many ways do I have to flip the Lone Rider since I got the axe? 
Thirteen, thirteen axe. I mean, thirteen axe is looking solid. Like I have thirteen creature, but I have spectral reserve, which makes it more like fourteen. I have this dude that gets me another creature. I have a few life linker. I have a few creatures that puts other creature onto the battlefield. Man, the card is really interesting, and I think this is a deck in which it could be good. Turn five, equip that on a, you know, two two spirit, one one spirit, or any flyer. It's like really really solid and difficult to race, unless they specifically have a removal. Uh, hmm. What would I cut for that though? Maybe gas just doesn't belong in this deck because I'm trying to be aggressive. I have a, a few tricks. Me, me, actually, I like that card, and I think it, it it it's good, but I don't think it's gonna shine in this deck. So I'm gonna cut it, even though it might seem weird. And I kind of want to have this axe. I want to try out this axe. I want to try this axe. Mm, press for answer is always something you can cut, but it's not something I love to cut. Uh, an equipment with 12 creatures is probably not amazing either. It's more like 14-ish 14, 14 creature deck, but still. Uh, and the sentries makes the axe and the outrider better. Maybe I should just not try to do funky stuff and just play the best cards in my deck. Uh, it's really tempting to Add the sentry, play the axe. If I cut that, I have three ways, four ways to flip the Lone Rider. It's not awful. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And the mana base is probably going to be 10 7 in favor of white. Probably not 11-6. I still want to be able to eat my blue, and I think 10 white should be good. Uh, huh. I do have a fair amount of white, though. And missing my blue earlier on when I want to cast those nibbles is kind of annoying. I'll go with that, I think. Alright, so that's going to be the deck. Blue, white, mid range, beat down. The deck doesn't seem bad to me, the curve is fine, I have a few involved, some fairly powerful effect, a bit of card advantage. Uh, it's interesting, we'll see how it performs. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the draft, feel free to drop a like if you did. You can also subscribe, leave a comment, or even share the video. All of these are really appreciated, and I see you in a few minutes for round 1.